Hey guys! So today I'm back with my monthly favourites and little life update. I'm really not sure why it looks so dark behind me because I've got my soft lights on and it just looks really grey so I'm sorry about that but let's blame the weather. It's um yeah I'm filming this right at the end of October so it should go up in a couple of days and this month has been quite busy for me so October I went down to Birmingham to visit my friend and tried cook my cookie dough for the first time which was the best thing ever um, and I went to the Alchemist for the first time that was the other really cool thing that we did uh, if you don't know what it is it's basically a restaurant that does really really kind of chemically interesting cocktails that smoke and they put them in pans and they make fire and it's really really cool so we did that and I went to see Mary Berry at the Cheltenham Literature Festival which was like my bucket list thing that I oh, Mary Berry is my idol I love Mary Berry Mary Berry and I me and my boyfriend celebrated our five-year anniversary a couple of days ago so as a surprise he bought me tickets to go and see her and we got her book as part of the ticket price and oh, she was just everything that I expected her to be I love her so much she's such a cute little oh, I just want her to be a third grandma for me but that's basically what I did I've had loads of busy weekends and this weekend is actually the first weekend that I've had nothing to do so I'm ha living my best life right now. Uh, November, there's not really too much going on which I'm quite excited for. The only so I'm going to go and see Ron Pope pretty much at the start of November with my friend from my old job and we both love him. He's kind of an American country singer and yeah, I think that's it for November really. I might be going to a Christmas market which would be really, really exciting. But. Let's actually do favourites because I don't really have anything interesting to say about my life for the next month. Um, let's do beauty first. So, actually no, we're going to do books and TV because this is something I've just started doing and I like it and I'll forget otherwise. So TV, I can't remember if I spoke about this last month, but Riverdale. The new Riverdale is out and I'm loving it. It's so good and I'm halfway through the, this week's episode. It's just... Oh, I just love it so much. I love the comic book-esque style of everything and the characters are all just, oh, I just love it. I'm, I'm a massive fan of teen dramas, so there we go. And books, I'm reading Fug, which is The Hate You Give. And if you haven't heard of it, you need to go look it up. It is absolutely incredible. It's by Angie Thomas, I believe. And I found it such a kind of shocking and painful and upsetting read. It's all about a girl called Star who lives in a kind of the rough end of her neighbourhood. Um, she's a black 16 year old girl who is in the car with her friend um, who's pulled over by the police and is shot basically at the beginning of the book. Um, it's fairly obvious that it's a racist shooting. Um, Khalil is driving and he reaches over to see if she's okay and the cop just shoots him and then turns the gun on her. Um, it's all about how she's questioning why the cop hasn't been pronounced a murderer because he murdered her friend in front of her eyes and about how the media has taken this killing and warped her friend into something he's not so he's accused of being a thug and being a gang member and in some even if he was a gang member or he was dealing drugs like they say they are she then questions whether that means he deserves to die which it obviously doesn't um, and it really kind of questions it kind of puts into perspective what you get shown by the media and, and it's all about how she's kind of learning to live with the consequences of realising how racist society is. Not that she didn't know already but um, she goes to a very white school and her boyfriend is white and she starts to consider whether she's actually betraying herself and her family by dating somebody who's part of this system that's so against her and her family and her friends. So honestly, you have to give it a read. It's amazing and it's so just upsetting to see 
what's going on in the world at the moment. Um, whew, so, aside from that, onto something a bit lighter and definitely less important, but it's Mary's Household Tips and Tricks, which is the book I got as part of the Mary Berry kind of event at the Literature Festival, and it is so good. So I've we're currently living in our first kind of rented non-student property at the moment and I just don't know things that I'm meant to be doing like do I do I defrost the freezer how often do I defrost it do I do I have to clean a fridge like yes you do Steph but I don't and this basically tells you everything you need to know so I've added so many things to my list of stuff that I want to do I'm going to clear out my big food cupboard, I'm going to clean my washing machine and it tells you exactly how to do all those kind of things. So I think and she signed it which was so cute. Um, not just for me, for everybody. So there's like a chapter on the kitchen, cleaning, laundry, gardening and hosting and adding the extra touches. So. I'm reading the kitchen one at the moment and there's just so many things that I didn't even think of like let's buy some jars to put our pasta in so it stays fresh and so that you don't end up knocking your bag of pasta or bag of rice over in the cupboard and it goes everywhere and you never clean it up please say I'm not the only one that does that and it's just so good I love it um Mary okay beauty this is Corizz's Olympus Tea Cleansing Foaming Cream. I actually got sent this, but not to talk about on my YouTube or not to say anything specific about, it's not sponsored. Um, but I don't know how well you can see because I've had it on its side, but I have been absolutely loving it. I'm about a third of the way through. So it's been really, really helping with my spots and to keep my face kind of oil free. I have found that if you've got dry skin, it's probably not good. Um, it is a little bit drying, but paired with a kind of moisturiser it makes my skin feel amazing and it's also it's perfectly kind of good for like my sensitive skin and for my eyes and it gets my makeup off really well as well um, and then something that I've gone through so quickly I never used to be a dry shampoo kind of girl they never it never worked for me I think I tried some Batiste and it just it just didn't do anything for how greasy my hair looked but this is amazing I feel like a convert I know that I've spoken about Boots's own one in a couple of videos ago um, which is also fab but this smells so much nicer it's the Rush Hour um, Sensational Dry Shampoo by Soap and Glory as I said before it smells so good and it's got something in it so every time you kind of run your hands through your hair it releases an extra boost of scent which is fab. I have really greasy hair at the moment, um, I'm not really sure why, it's really aggravating me but we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it and so kind of I'm using this a couple of times a week and yeah as I said it's feeling disturbingly light but it's so good, I would definitely repurchase it. Okay, on to kind of foodie bit. This is some apple and pear green tea from Twinings. I love flavoured green tea. I just, because I don't drink normal tea, I like to kind of experiment and this is a really nice sweet flavour. It was something that kind of took a couple of tries to get used to, but now that I am, it's all I want to drink. It kind of has, it tastes like apple sweets. It doesn't taste like real apple. It tastes like a fake apple flavour, um, but, as I said, yeah, it's just a nice, green tea can be quite bitter, so if you don't really like that, maybe try this, because it's, yeah, sweet. <laughs> um, and finally, some kind of clothes bits. So, I haven't got it very well laid out, but this is basically a big, big blanket tartan scarf. Um, I got it from Primark, and I've been wearing it to work every single day. I think it was £4. It also makes such a good blog background. Um, I've got quite a few Primark scarves now, I think three or four that I use as um, kind of blog picture backgrounds and this one's obviously nice and autumnal. Um, if you follow me on Instagram you've definitely seen it in the background of some pictures but and I'm going to be using it as a background for the blog pictures for the blog post <laughs> for my favourites. 
So yeah, it's fab. It's really warm and soft and I just didn't have a tartan scarf. So for four pounds, it was a fab purchase. And then this jumper is also from Primark. Um, it's in my autumn Primark haul and I think so's the scarf, but basically it's got these big bell sleeves and it just makes the jumper a little bit more fancy. Again, it's really, really soft. It's a nice beige color. And I just feel like I wanted a nice jumper for work that wouldn't be boring and plain and wouldn't feel smart enough. So yeah, this feels nice and smart and it's really, really soft and warm. And then finally, if I can get it, Finally is an umbrella that again I got from Primark but months and months ago now so it's got this kind of purple flowery pattern on and it's a clear big old umbrella and I've got so many compliments on it about how pretty it is um, and it, again it's just a nice size so it really covers you and I wear a backpack to work so it covers that as well um, yeah and I just like I really like how kind of it's quite nice and plain with the clear bit but then it has this nice pattern at the edge so there we go that's my October favourites it was a bit of a mishmash but at the moment I think for the last few months it has been anyway so yeah please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos I will see you guys soon bye